It wasn't until this very moment that I understood what was standing in the A of death's door. <laughs> Bird person turned like this. Like, okay. It was like, what am I looking at that image for the longest time? Until when I booted this up, I'm like, oh, it's a bird, dude. Okay. Like a raven, I guess, or a crow. They're not the same, but they're too close for me to care. Now, one or both of those are kind of, you know, related to death in some ways. Um, I was going to say the raven because of Edgar Allan Poe, but then I was like, but crows are the things I usually think of feasting on, like, dead things or whatever. Anyway, I'm ranting for no reason. <laughs> okay, death's door is a is a thing that we're playing right now and this is interesting this is, a, this is an interesting setup i love the like semi lightsaber that's sitting on the desk there um yeah let's get let's get started i guess one thing i have heard from people is uh that the music's pretty damn good so oh okay I guess I can have some amount of extra files. It's a floating bus. Now arriving at Reaper Commission Headquarters. End of the line. I don't know why I gave him that voice. I'm... I'm literally like just like a bird with a sword on my back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a jump. It's a roll. Okay. It's a phone booth. I can't even reach the phone. Look how short I am. Is this what it's like to be a short person? Click. Seems like the phone isn't connected to anything. Uh, this is true. It does not seem to be, but then again, I don't know. Maybe it runs in the floor. All right. Well, it's easy to kind of tell where I am in this darkness because I have a lightsaber. Unless I'm like this, and that's a little harder. Hey. What is that? A guy with a, with a with a trash bag on his head or whatever? Paper bag on his head? Uh okay. Oh, I have a bow, apparently. Who wants skull noodles? I like it went out of focus for a second. This fountain's broken. Unacceptable. Oh, hi. Ain't got no souls. Ain't got no shinies. Ain't got no worries. <laughs> All right. It's a lovely book, newspaper on your head. Stay up to date on the, on the times, you know, important. All right. I guess this is the noodle shop. All again, like <laughs> I'm so short. I'm shorter than the counter. Like, could I even get into these seats? Uh, okay. Are the walls wrecked like this, or is this just for my convenience? Inspect. Ticket office closed. Gone to fix a broken pipe back in three to four years. Management, you know. That's, that's, that's too true. Uh, I, I'm just walking through barbed wire fences. All right. It's my sword, isn't it? Yeah, you're clear. Move along, bud. But it said, eh. It said, it said, it said, eh. It said, no. Nat Hawk. Oh, no. With, there it is with the raid. How's it going, Nat? How's it going? peoples from the Nathawk stream. Eh. Apparently I'm clear though. I'm good. I'm good to just go through. This guy says I'm good because I have a lightsaber, I guess. Anyway, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are playing Death's Door. I just started. I've already dashed off a cliff because it is not jump. It is a dash. What's up, SMG? I see you. 
Uh, Hall of Doors. Reaper, Reaping Commission Headquarters. Hall of Doors? That doesn't sound fun. It sounds awful. It sounds like uh, The Matrix. It's going good. I seize him. With my eyes. Uh, finally back to streaming. In a special on a regular basis, hopefully. Better get moving. Don't want to be late, right? I don't know. Am I late for something? I didn't know. Hey. Okay. It looks gorgeous. Oh, hey, this is a tile screen. Well, well, well. Look who showed up for work. No worms for you. Because only the early bird catches... Never mind. Anyway, it's your lucky day. I actually have a soul for you to reap. And not just any soul, a giant soul. Think of the commission on that. I hope you haven't forgotten your training. Stay on your talons. Giant souls don't often go peacefully. Dropping in your door for you now. Dropping in a door? Oh. With a soul that's that size, you might even be able to afford some time off. But remember... Your door will remain open until you return with your designated soul. While your door is open, you'll be mortal and you will age, so get that done quickly. Okay. Reaping souls to power the doors just so we can reap more souls. And the cycle repeats forever. The rat race, eh? Anyway, get to it. Be careful. If you die, it's going to be a lot of paperwork and I don't have the time. Well, sorry to inconvenience you. This is like, it's like reminding me of uh, Monsters, Inc. in that way. We go through the door to get the power, to get more doors, to get more power. Okay, something... Look at these floating doors. This is Monsters, Inc. Only death instead of, you know, scaring or making children laugh. Okay, so what was this way? I am a crow with a somewhat lightsaber sword. Who is this guy? I see his picture everywhere. And I like... Oh! Aha! Okay. Interesting. Slams open in your face. You mean like, on the other side? Just like, ah! Door! <laughs> yes, that would be terrifying. I mean, granted, anything just appearing in my face suddenly would, you know, kind of do that. Hello! Oh boy, I love typing. I get enough of it. Okay. Large bird. Hello. Darwin, the vault keeper. Oh, indeed. I actually, what was your name? Chandler. You are a Chandler. So Darwin, Chandler, Agatha. Seriously, because any havoc you cause, any havoc you like out there, I've got it covered. I've got me some more of these sweet, sweet documents to verify and type up. Okay, Agatha, you, you do you, as long as you're having fun. All right, so that's my door. The pot. Cool. All right. Uh, this place just keeps going. An umbrella? I found a discarded umbrella. It's massive. Also spinning through the light bulb. It's just the thing to keep your feathers dry in grim weather. You could equip it from the weapons menu. Okay. That's great. Oh, wait, what? Paw. Oh. <laughs> ah. Alright. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh. Oh, I thought my sword became a bow. I was like, what? No. Just pulling it out. It becomes red. Oh, okay. That's a little weird. All right, let's go through the door, shall we? I don't know. Well, let's check out the weapons menu. Umbrella. An umbrella is probably not very useful in combat, but it will keep your feathers dry in bad weather. One, three, two and a half. So it's actually just half damage. Otherwise, otherwise it's actually the same. 
<laughs> Am I using it with the other hand? I'm using it with my right hand. Was I using it with my left before? Wait. No. Yes? I'm ambidextrous with my sword, but I wear it like a right-handed person. Okay, anyway. Now I have an umbrella. Weird. Uh, hold on. We're just gonna, you know, check everything out. I wonder if umbrella is just supposed to be, like, hard mode or something. Uh... Okay, cool. All right, through. Let's go kill a giant or take his soul. Do we, do we have to kill it to take its soul? How does this work? Oh, color. The Grove of Spirits. Assigned soul location. Okay. Yes. Hello. I have a friend. More friends? More friends. Okay. Hello, friends. Uh-oh. I'm gonna hit my friends. Hold on. They didn't like that. I didn't hit you, though. Yeah, see, we're cool. We're cool. See? Little weird yellow and green friends. You don't like me swinging my sword, but don't worry. I try to avoid you. That time, at least, I was going to be where I uh, use my bow. And my bow. E to charge. Okay. My friends are weird. I have more friends now. I have so many friends. They don't like the sword, though. Yeah, it's cool. See? It's cool. Okay. Well, that's how I get back. We only got two friends now. Oh. Are you a giant? You look like a giant flower. Oh, God. Demonic forest spirit. Okay. Yeah, friends, you wait outside. This is fine. Ah. All right. But Okay, it does need to be fully charged. I don't know if that's doing more damage or what. Oh, what is this now? Get down here. What? I disagree. I hit the button. Damn. Yay! 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 I murdered! Hey, look at all my little friends. Those guys are reminding me of the, uh... Oh... Okay. Well, that's bad. I just got suckered. Um, a hundred something. Hundred soul. Hello! Hello, friends. So... I don't know what the ramifications are this, of this are, but, uh... Oh, you guys are... Hey, you can join me now. It's cool. See? Conga line! <laughs> I don't know why I got the achievement there, but all right. I love it. Uh, I don't remember what they're called from Princess Mononoke, the tree spirits. There's like a name for them. That's what these are reminding me of. Anyway, through the weird door. Whee oh. Whee all right. Thanks for, thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping by, Nat. Go have fun with the wife. 
And uh, I will, I will check you out later, dude. I uh, oh, that looks like the top of an anchor. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see you later in the week. I'm sure. Uh, graves. Okay. Okay. Hi there. You an old crow? Give me. Why did you? Why did you hit me? Hello. All right. Fire. Okay. Uh, so ladder, which I don't know how. Oh, pick up. You collected a life seed. I have like wing hands. Planting one of these in a green pot will yield soul fruit, which can be consumed to restore your health. Seems like a really roundabout way to refill, uh, refill health. Okay. Eat a pot. I didn't even try. There we go. It's like I didn't even try breaking these. What's wrong with me? Okay. So I know it's not quite the same, and partly because this is isometric, and I don't think uh, that Link's Awakening was the, was isometric. I think it's technically still like it's kind of isometric, but it's not like at an angle. It's you know parallel and. Uh, everything, but I kind of wish the art style was more like this in that remake. Like that in Link's Awakening for the Switch, it's way more plastic looking. Whereas this. Sorry. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. I feel really bad. Uh, whereas this, like, I don't know, I just like this more, and obviously this is very dark by comparison, way less colors, but still. I think you could have not made it look like toys, but that might have been their purpose. I feel bad just murdering the headless dudes who just kind of were walking around, but... Let's see. Oh, uh, what? This way to the summit. I don't even know where I am! Where am I? Souls? You collected a mass of soul energy. Soul energy can be spent in the Hall of Doors on Reaper upgrades. Okay, so it's... So, like, how, how close to Dark Souls are we getting with this? Like, do I lose souls when I die? Alright, I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Two souls! Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's check out the keyhole. I'm gonna guess maybe this is how I acquire the key, is by doing whatever's in here. Maybe. Oh, it's just another way to get back. Little crow, do I sense a glut of soul energy? What's a glut? Come here and you can trade in those souls to gain an edge in combat. Also, you have four eyes. I don't mean because you have glasses. That actually means you have six eyes. Actually, you have two, four, and six eyes. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? Maybe. Strength, the Reaper's ability to wield melee weapons raising this will increase the damage done with melee weapons as well as their reach. As well as their reach, okay. Uh, dexterity, ability to attack with speed and precision. Raising this will allow the Reaper to change, to charge their melee and ranged attacks faster and increase the speed at which melee attacks can be chained together. Okay. Ace, the Reaper's speed and grace of movement. Raising this will give the Reaper a greater base speed, faster dodges, and less cooldown time between dodges. Magic, the Reaper's ability to harness magic, magical powers. Raising this will increase the damage done with magic spells and ranged abilities. 
I can think, honestly, of reasons for all of these to want to upgrade. Which I feel like it's rare in some games where it's just like, yeah, I don't think I ever want to raise this at all. Like, just getting to move faster. This is increasing uh, attack speed. This is increasing range as well as attack. Nothing on health, though. And damage done with magic. Oh. I don't have enough glut. A little shy on glut. Smoking allowed here, dude. Oof. It's badger. You lost your assignment? That's rough, buddy. Thanks, Zuko. It's been so quiet the past few years. Advances in medicine are something I expect. So annoying. Oh. We need a new plague. I'm gonna go broke. Alright. Cool, thanks, bye. I'm special, because I get the laser sword. Alright. Also, I'm healed. Okay, so red keyholes. Let's go back to... Back to the Reaper place. Uh, Lost Cemetery. Forbidden region. Any more glut? Okay, so it looks like those are always 100. Guessing we need fire. Some kind of fire magic, maybe? It's also just, it's like a heavy attack with the ability to charge. Yo. Roll. Yes. Okay. I need to see if that. Hi. Don't know what just happened there. He was like sweating. I don't know. All right. Can I hit you with... Okay, you still die with one. Uh, plant seed. Okay, so this is what it's talking about. With the seeds. Shiny things. Giant souls. Oh, there's only three total. I wish I could look at the seed thing again. Do I, like, do I have a reason to save it? I guess I might as well. It's here. I don't want to consume it, though. Alright, that's a key. Alright. Give me that. That gave me a ladder. Definitely some Zelda vibes right now. Only keys seem to be overworld, not dungeon specific. Okay, so that's not any stronger to do the roll. The keyhole fell off. Oh. Ah! All right. You dead? Ow. <laughs> I got a skeleton backpack or skull backpack or whatever. Oh, and the eyes look at me. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I think. They moved. <laughs> they ran into each other. Whoa. Whoa. These guys are hilarious. Oh yeah, seed plant thing. 
mean, I guess I could go consume the other one, but if, I don't know how much it heals. Oh. Oh, the eyeball! Ugh. <laughs> the eyeball's free! Oh, uh, uh, why is it only one eyeball? All right. Let's just consume it. Yeah, I can't go that way. All right. Let's course the long way around. I... Eh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Because the other thing with that one is I could just go back to... Uh, back to home and heal that way because I healed when I went through it last time. Oh, Dead plant. Okay, so that's another thing too. You've used that spot. Interesting. Huh. Not sure how that mechanic is going to work going forward, but interesting to note. So far, I like how this feels, though. This feels very good. Very smooth. All right, more flowers. I don't know how secrets work in this game. Hello up there. I see a seed. I imagine the shiny things are the secrets of this game. All right. Got potential person and a bunch of coffins. What's this? Cool. Something I need that will bring that ladder down, I suspect. All right. So we need a fire spell, and we need something else. You look fine. Mask looking thing. One in the grave. Alright. Hello. That's gotta be killer on your neck. Stead, Steadhone, the grave digger. Ah, Reaper. My time in this world is over. I don't want to kill you. I didn't come here for you. Damn it, game! I don't want to kill him! Seems nice. I just want to talk. Well, I gotta kill you because you're in the way. Hmm. Unfortunately, I am still alive. Sorry. Maybe if you try hitting me with a harder attack. Damn. Mm, no. Still here and still very much alive. Perhaps try a bit of a run-up. Oh, I know about that. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It happens to everyone. Oh, is he the mask? I'm afraid I am burdened with unending life. I can't explain it, and I've spent untold years seeking an answer. My name is Steadhone. I am the keeper of graves on this sacred mountain. Oh, if you do find yourself strengthened somehow, feel free to try and kill me again. Wow. Okay. Bundle of joy. These are different. Here lies a guardian of the door, a preserver of order, and home to stray souls. Like that bunch of towers down there? Interesting. Well. Oh, there's a ladder. Alright, do you say anything else? You're welcome to stop by any time you like, Reaper. Okay. I'm not gonna remember all these voices, FYI. Alright. Okay. Sure, why not? So many graves. Oh. Hey, I can get an upgrade now. Too bad I'm so far away. Imagine there's going to be two more, too many more opportunities to uh, go 
Go back. Alright. This way to the summit. Oh. Oh, this is where What's-His-Face was walking. Okay. So that way I will take as progress. Another seed. And so the charge attack doesn't need to be a charge attack. It must be a heavy attack. Uh... Down here... This simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. Okay. This way to the stranded sailor. Mushrooms came back. Possibly another fire base thing. All right, so we only have one way we can go. Could I go back? I like jump off from here. No. Eh, yeah, I'll just keep going. We don't know yet if it's like Dark Souls and I lose all my souls. Probably not, considering they seem to be largely be coming from uh, from items left around and not like from me getting enemies where I get like two. So probably not working that way. Oh, shortcut. Well then, that made that decision really easy then. <laughs> Never mind. We're just doing it now. Okay. Boom! 600. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna anticipate there's not a lot of uh, grinding in this game, unless you're trying to get every single point. Maybe there's some grinding. But otherwise, I feel like... Oh, it comes back! Oh, shit! Okay, that's cool, then. Also, I have my little buddies are there now. Sweet. Um... Most, like, most of your souls are going to come from items and bosses. They'll do hits. Rather than enemies. Aha! Okay. Hold that thought. Got this. Okay. So... Some sort of fire, some sort of strong attack that breaks things, and possibly something that, like, is heavy or goes downward. Pray at shrine. What shrine do? Ah! The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. Collecting four will raise your vitality beyond its limits. Oh. I see. So that's vitality, and then red will be something else. Magic? When I get magic? Okay. That's a big thing for me to get my heart pieces, essentially. How big does my vitality grow? I don't know if my upgrade in strength is uh, impacted a lot here. Oh. Or you just hit him enough that it breaks the face. That also works. Break the face! Alright, weird little flying rats. Bunch of friends down there. We got a seed. Really long ladder. 
kill kill these people. Oh, there's a plunging attack! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Plunging attack. All right. This. This looks like it's leading to something. I kind of don't want to use seeds unless I have to. Because I can always go back and plant again, so... Not really a reason to plant it now, as opposed to later when I need it. Alright. What's this? Big door. Okay. Interesting. The light is kind of shining from my lightsaber. Okay, well that was short-lived and pointless. Real question is gonna be how I respawn. Hi, what the f Okay, ow. Freaking Wizro. A boss. All right. Don't do that. I'm not used to having to use my bow yet, so don't make me use it. Okay, they go over the fences. that funny but it was funny enough oh wow oh, okay oh did I reflect that back I did yo all right deflecting projectiles I'm sick I don't know what the like diamonds are below my health I don't know what that's about Okay, we're looped back here. Means I could heal. Hide, my little friends. Wonder how long that takes to regenerate. Thing is I'm not really sure what my objective is. Okay, this looks like a boss arena. I just did like an enemy rush, but now I'm doing a boss arena. Okay. Well. Castle with stubby feet. Guardian of the door. Okay. All right. Oh. Nope. Can I move? Dude. This is bad. Oh! He's firing his laser. Is he propelling me away from him? Okay.
he is. Oh, lasers and missiles. Fantastic. There we go. Well, that was different. <laughs> okay, that was like some near shit to me. As someone who's played very little near games. And then we just move on, it's fine. This way to the summit, okay. This way to the overgrown ruins. Still can't do anything with this. All right, well, I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. It might be a healing just on the other side, but in case there's not. I'm gonna assume there's no fall damage in this game. Oh, it's not back yet. Hello, friend. I, I don't recommend you follow me. Also, you can't. I'm assuming you can't climb. How much soul do I have? 219. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I know what that's for then. I know what that's for now. Wow. Alright. So I'm here. I don't recall... I mean, this door is closed to something. I don't know what yet, though. More masks? You say anything else? Hello again, Reaper. How goes your adventure? I am still searching for an answer to my own predicament. Why can I not die? I lost a dear friend long ago and buried him under the moon's light. Ever since that day, I felt, have felt a piece of myself lost. I wonder if I could ever feel whole again. All right. Under was italicized, my guess meaning something with the moon, thing under it, bring him that thing. Oh, the manhole cover, alright. I don't remember if I saw another one or if that was the only one I've seen. Oh, good. Consume, alright, full health, good to know. That's a key. Something's got to die. Bridge. Eh. I was gonna say, is this incense? Does this pot have a face on it? <laughs> this stuff smells very strong. Okay. How is incense gonna play a role here? I was with that tree. Okay, so we got that key door. There's the key. Something's gotta die. I guess. Hey, it's you. Why the hell did you hit me? That's mine. Is that a good thing you just did? Gray Crow. Oh, hello, fledgling. Sorry about the crack on the head, but I needed that soul. Could have asked. You see, I was a reaper just like you. This is what happens when you get old, you get massive and gray. Yes. Years ago, my assignment evaded capture. It took many months to track it down to this location. 
On arrival, I discovered it had somehow passed through this door. Inconceivable. You know where we are, fledgling? No. It's a thin door. Oh. Okay. The end point for all life. I thought it was just a legend. As you know, all doors are powered by the energy of souls. Perhaps with a truly momental, monumental amount of power, even this one could be forced open. But why? Sadly, the soul I stole from you was not enough. I'm afraid that our fates are very much intertwined now, fledgling. Damn it, man. Don't drag me into your shit. But with your assignment incomplete, your death is now inevitable. What an ass. Why'd you do this to me? Why? Without the soul that now resides behind this door, you are trapped just like me. However, fortune may still smile upon us. This cursed land is hidden to the reapers, somehow untouched by the laws of nature. The creatures here have the potential to live vastly beyond their years, growing ever larger and more powerful. Like a castle that grew legs. I know of three such beings on these isles whose combined soul energy could grant us the power to wedge this door open. Could. To the north lives an old witch obsessed with escaping the clutches of death. Beyond the forest to the east, a self-proclaimed king rules over the ruins of a flooded cathedral. And atop the mountain to the west, a beast of untold years Primal and vicious, with no want or desire. I am truly sorry to have entangled you, fledgling. You would have asked. But in my advanced years, my body grows weary. Enough to smack me upside the head and knock me out. Your path is your own now. Either venture into the wilds and reap those giant souls, or choose inaction and suffer the same fate as this old fool. Jerk. Hey, give me key. Oh, all right. That was easy. I had to have lore. That was a lore key. Uh, this way to the Urn Witch's mansion. Okay. How am I getting into that mausoleum? Three nineteen. Okay. And then what's this? This door requires a key. Keyhole looks very old and rusted. I'm guessing I am looking for an old rusted key. Not the new hotness. Old and rusted. Okay. Cool. A lot of these little things that I am not a fan of. It's like, ah! Well, something? Like, look at this. How far deep into that I go. Alright. I'm guessing there's not a lot of variants. I'm pretty sure I just have to go this way. To the witch! Burn the urn, witch! Oh. Oh, hey. We're here. Okay. There's bug. Oh. One. I'm walking on metal. What the hell? Alright, well, that's a fall that I can't get back from, so we'll check that in a moment. Who is this tall? I know I'm a short little crow thing, but who's this tall? Okay, free soul. Nice. Go 420 blaze it. 
Super tank. Okay. Golems. Okay, here's the drop. Light it up. Blaze it. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go back. I don't know when the next uh, opportunity will be. Also not sure how long this game is. Wait, how far is the door from here? Not close. Oh, wrong button. I think we're just going to go down the line for the time being. And I can't imagine the increase in range is going to be significant. Nope, okay. It's all not enough to one-shot him. Go? I hit the button. Cage. Are those leaves? Nice use use of uh, shadows and lighting in the doorway. It's cool, even though the light is not coming from that direction at all. Even makes a lightsaber sound. Dude. Wondering if there's just a seed per pot. Those leaves are like, nope, I'm out. See ya. Spread the leaves. Oh, they disappear. Okay. Wait a minute. Damn. Trying to get them into the pond. Mm-hmm. Okay, game. Let me guess, you were gonna tell me to do that. Burn your weapons and spread joy. Okay. Okay. Trying to burn that on the trees, I guess not.
Okay. Spread, spread joy. Why can I not? Oh, that's the, that's what the diamonds are. And I get them back by hitting things, I guess? Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Weird. Hothead, man. This way to the Urn Witch's Mansion. Okay. Still need a breakable thing. Alright. You know, the- oh! Oh, okay. The anchors are not supposed to be in the boardwalk. They're supposed to be in the water, right? I'm gonna get something to connect me to the anchors, maybe? Ah, second door! State? Urn Witch. Okay. So this is supposed to be an indicator of that. Kind of. So did I heal by leaving and coming back? Yes. So why would I plant a heal seed right next to the door that if I just go through and come back will also heal me? Seems like a waste. An actual pothead. <laughs> he's got, he's got like wood. Oh my god. Fascinating. Is this my, is this my onion knight? Oh, hello there, my beak-faced fellow. It is quite unusual to see one of your kind upon these aisles. I imagine you must be here for a soul. Not me, I should hope. Anyway, it seems our paths have been. Dissected at an opportune moment. It's absolutely an onion night. You may not have noticed, but I have been cursed with an unusual affliction. Alas, judge me not by the shape of my head, but by the deliciousness of the soup inside. There are ways to unpack that. Pot. <laughs> Pothied. An actual, his name's actually Pothead. Dang. Where are my manners? I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, Beakface. <laughs> More connections to Onion Knight, because in Dark Souls 3, he actually makes Sigbrew for you. Which is like a soup, I think, or some kind of drink that heals you. It would seem that my journey has reached an impasse. I haven't been able to overcome the obstacles ahead and unlock the iron gates. Another reason. If you would help me move on, I should be indebted to you, and we could push forward together. Okay. From around here, I guess? A teapot head. There are many obstacles ahead, Beakface. Curiously, there are... But there appears some uncanny kinship between the sealed gates and the unlit lanterns where... Uh, Around, aroundabouts. All right. Just, just go this way. Uh huh. Well, if I have to hit that, I can't do it. I keep doing that. Ow! <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if I mistimed that or if I can't deflect that. It worked! Is 
They're very skinny. Ow! Wizard, ow! Oh, I'm gonna die. This is it. This is where I die. Yeah, I eat shit. Is that insta kill them? Now would be a, okay. I was gonna say now would be a great time for a hill pot. Consume. Read. Guardi the Garden of Joy. All right. Uh. Probably come out. Yeah. I'll come out this this side on that other one up there. Okay. Uh. Ow. Okay, fair. Fair game. Duly noted. There you. Okay, more anchors. All right. You go over there somehow. Okay, that was delayed. Why is that there? Huh. Oh, hi, Pothead. Pothead. Yeah, they're just there for symmet symmetry, I guess. Uh, most impressive. Now, make haste and ignite the second lantern. Will do. The Garden of Peace. Okay. Ow. 
Ah! That didn't hurt me for some reason. His head came off. Alright. Whatever. Yes, look at this peaceful garden of explodey pots. leave a pot unexploded. I don't notice anything else. Hurrah! We can now venture onward, my steadfast companion. But first, we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. I was caught in between respite and respite. For some reason, I always want to say respite. Come, sit with me a while. Where did we find this bench? As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthenware in appearance. I love how this you're too stubby-legged for this bench. A strange curse was visited upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond these lavish gardens. I imagine you are here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe for the reaping due to her unnaturally extended years. I desire not but to confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed and restore me to my former handsome self. I was quite the looker, you know. Uh-huh. Also, are you not wearing a shirt? Like, you just, just have sleeves? What's going on there? Sue? Nope, I'm good. No? So be it. Let us push on once more. Would you like some of my brain matter? You seem quite adept at cutting down our foes, so I shall let you bear the brunt of it. I shall bring up the rear and meet you at the mansion gates. Okay. Pro tip! Some projectiles can be deflected with a swing of your sword. I've missed stuff in this area, and I don't have the slightest idea how I would do anything about it. What you? Ah! Screaming pot of death. Okay. Weird. Oh. You. Heal pot. Man, get, wait, these aren't going to explode. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I've been so used to pots exploding right now. And screaming at me. This way to the Urn Witch's Mansion. I could fall down there. Quite know where I'd end up though. Ow! Ow! Oh, flaming arrows. 
that actually hit me. Uh oh. I'm oh, doing so hot. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You okay, game? <laughs> what am I looking at? What is this? Okay, bye. <laughs> nope. No, you're still there. What is this thing? It almost looks like me. Oh. I haven't found shit in boxes yet. Alright, weird, broken, stretched thing. Be right back. Thank you. I anticipate if I leave the area, it's gone after that. Alright. Uh, do I want to drop from that ladder? Garden of Love. Alright. Sure, let's drop off the ladder. Let's see what happens. Still there. Remind me of Fez. I never played Fez. I'm not sure if I have it or not. I think I do. Alright. Hello, sir. You look like a bundle of fun that I absolutely want to deal with right now. My boxes. Okay. So we got Black Mace Knight. It's Aperture Knight up here. In the Garden of Love. This looks like a puzzle. Aw. Cute. The Family Tomb. Oh. <laughs> All right, Garden of Love, everybody. Give me a seed. Let's just loop back around here, okay. Why these pots? Make a good statue, would I not? Huh. Why are you posing? So, here we are. This edifice may look unassuming, even becalming. However, keep your wits about you. Untold dangers await us inside. Now, let us dive from the precipice of adventure and enter the belly of the beast. Together! Nope. <laughs> oh. What's that? I didn't say I was going inside, dude. You did that on your own. Okay. Why? Why does this exist? Ah. Hello. 
weird disturbing statue thing. It's like it's got a beak, but it's also got like mandible teeth things. This is a red crystal. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. Collecting four, raise your magic capacity beyond its limits. Alright. Cool, thanks. That one was a little out of its way. I don't, like, I don't get the impression this game is very big. But yet, there's a lot of things to suggest that there's more than I've been able to find so far. Alright, I want to break those pots. You got all the shinies, you got all the level upgrade or whatever up buy things you can buy or whatever. Every time I break six pots, it comes back. It's four. It's five. Okay, maybe not. Is it five? Like, it doesn't come back if I don't hit anything for a while. So do I need to hit five specific pots? I don't see anything that's indicated a solution to this point. Family tomb. No, nope, that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, it seems to be hit five that come back, so you need to hit the right five. I have no idea. No idea what that solution would be as of now. I don't know if these symbols on the stone are supposed to be indicators of anything. This guy's still here up in the sky. <laughs> He's still stuck there. Doing his thing. Alright, let's go kill Black Mace Knight. Hi! Whoa! What? Ow. Alright. The Garden of Life. Yeah, let's just go. Still kind of curious what's going to happen when I die. Or not. <laughs> it's here. Okay. Well, that's closed. That we're probably going to loop around back to. Great. Alright. Before we go into the mansion, I'm definitely going to go back and 
buy some more. Buy another level. All right. I don't think anything I can do now. this thing you found some rogue daggers dagger dagger these blades can speedily inflict damage to an opponent death by a thousand cuts you can equip it from the weapons menu so the weapons menu always replaces my sword it seems like so more swings faster swing time but smaller range Okay, I don't feel like I'm going to like them, but... Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we're going back to the door. See if this guy is here when we come back. Where was the door? I don't exactly remember. There it is. Go through here, buy an upgrade. We'll get healed. I wish these railings weren't here. They're on the other. They're not on the other side, though, which is weird. Give me speed. You guess anything different? Careless sunflower. Supplementary forms. My lucky day. Up and get the job done. Okay. Oh no, you've lost your assigned soul? That's one thing we didn't want to happen. Well, get back out there and don't come back until you found it. Well, see, there's a problem there. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Alright. I'm waiting for a use for my umbrella. Like something where you... Uh need to have the umbrella like to block some water or something i don't know all right well it's about that time i'm gonna take a quick break and when we come back we'll go into the mansion i suppose i feel like there's a lot of backtracking in this game like a lot of times where it's just like i don't have that thing yet i just have to come back for it i don't know how big the game itself is to where that's like really a problem but We'll see. Uh, and yes, the game mutes when I exit out of it. Oh well. All 
Ha. I mean, I guess I could click, click back into it, but eh, whatever. So, back in a few. Perfect timing. Get out of here, Friday Night Funkin'. Not right now. Maybe later. Uh... Parts of OBS crashed again. I don't know why this is an issue. <laughs> it keeps doing this. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just assuming we're still good. It's pretty much always just my sound mixer that like freezes and doesn't show that it's still working but anyway moving on all right into the mansion let's go 
I feel like I'm going to kind of fairly explore things. Uh... That, that, that's the reason you don't want to have to do the doors, because then you have to fight things again. Ow. Alright. Bowman. Why aren't you dead? Now I have to go back and heal. Hello, friends. No, don't follow me. I don't want you to die. All right. Hello? No? All right. So yeah, I'm not gonna be too crazy about exploring just because I feel like I'm gonna have to come back through pretty much everywhere. Alright. You more pothead people. <laughs> also a shield, of course it is. You go on ahead. I'll guard the door. Look at these pots glowing. Oops. I'm eventually going to not do that. Oh, those are keys. And also screams. Why is everything scream? Ceramic Manor. Oh, more, more pots coming back. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't used these daggers much yet. Forgot. I guess we are in Ceramic Manor. Manor. So, oh god. The pots would come back after I destroy them. This place is the worst. This is the worst possible dungeon ever. Still gonna hit them though. Alright, can't unlock. Like, can I go in this? I don't really want to, but... Talk. Ancient door spirit. Living Reaper, I hunger for souls. Okay. All right, well, this room seems important enough, and let's avoid having to refight things, I guess. So we'll plant a seed. All right, is this the only room I can go in? What's with the floor? This is, this is giving me Beast Castle vibes. It's an enemy! Ow! He's spinning to win! Alright, well now I'm definitely hitting all the pots. Okay. That worked. I don't know if, uh... Oh. What? I don't know if it is, uh, significantly weaker enough to where... This is worse than the sword or anything. Hmm... Okay.
Why is there a storm outside? Love the pots. Love the pots just sitting down for dinner. Wants me to fall on that table and then shoot it as opposed to the stairwell. Okay. All the whispering. What is this shit? Like there were times where I got away from an attack that I shouldn't, and times where I got hit by attack when I should have gotten away. Hello? Free the soul! Is this like another Reaper? It appears we've been abandoned here. I don't think anyone is coming to open the door. Okay. Oh, oh good, I'm offering your soul. This is fine. Uh, okay, I gotta find four or three more souls. So I had to wait for three other people to die ahead of me before I could, uh, open this door. What is with the thunder? This is open now. Nope. Ah! The giant woman! Oh, this is the Witch of Urns! Okay. What is... What is her name in Spirited Away? Something Baba? Baba something? Baba Yaga. <laughs> I know it's not that. It's what I had very quickly, even though nor the pot head thing. Urn head. Hello, dear. Quite unexpected to see a crow around this place. Does this mean the deal is off? What brings an adorable fellow like you into my little house? Can I kill you right here, right now? That is... Unsettling as hell. Also, your dress is very pretty. <laughs> ah! Can't talk to you. Oh, shit! <laughs> I thought she was gonna attack me. 
Oh, 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 okay. Hey, look at this. Yoink. Hey, pothead. Pothied. Hmm. This door looks rather out of place, as if it were from another world. It actually looks a little like you, Beak Face. Though perhaps a trifle more imposing. Oh. I for I it might be the knocker thing, but anytime I see that like on a door, I think of a minotaur. Alright, so there's a door up top, a door there. Okay. Hmm. I gotta get a fire ability at some point. Alright, let's just do this one. I don't like how the locks shove me. Good. Oh, good. This is fine. Oops. The nice thing about this is it allows me to keep my distance. Kind of. Good thing the enemies can't come back. Some of these cabinets are useless when you put them like this. Uh oh. Oh, he's naked. Oh, that's unsettling. Die. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Cool. Anything else in this room? I don't think the game has made me do anything where I literally can't see yet. It always turns the camera or whatever. I think I'm okay. I also I have incense. What the hell is the incense for? Oh, it's a shiny thing. An incense used to, in ancient rituals to aid the dead in their passage to the next life and to mask the stench of corpses in the embalming process. The label on the side reads "Incense of Atonement," perfect for masking that rotting corpse smell. I can tr oh, okay. He does have a face. Anyway. Okay, so I found my first shiny. A little while ago. I have another key already. I keep hitting Y to do my heavy attack for some reason. Oh, I should have seen that coming. I didn't react fast enough. Okay. Alright, so do over there and there. And all the way down here. Okay. Big bathtub. Hello. Interesting. Okay, it was only two. I was like, how? Weird. Oh, hi. Are you a red one? Your light is red, but your stone looks green. You're a red one. Okay, go by the light. More magic. Okay. Well, I guess that's what the diamond thing is for my arrows is actually magic. When am I going to get something besides a bow? Bedroom. Well, this. It never gets old. This one's a little more straightforward.
eventually it will happen. I'm, I'm not used to being able to uh, roll from like an aimed position or whatever. Plunging attack. Damn. Ow! Didn't notice the purple pot. What? I just like went right through them. This is the nice thing about the uh, generating pods, is that it's how you get your magic back. Oh, good. They know. I need to be more careful with the rest of my seeds at this point. These enemies are infinite. I want to say they were infinite until he died. Ow. Tell you what. Ow. Hey, spirit. Breathe the soul. I'm starting to question the authority of our Lord of Doors, although it might be a bit late, given that I am deceased. Okay, bye! Pothead moved again. Pothied! Pothied Pothead. Okay. Oh, again. Oh, heavens, my house is a mess. My beautiful urns shattered. Ahem, I mean, I must apologize for the state of the house, dearie. I wasn't expecting guests. Get. We all know how this is gonna go. This room. No. Oh, it's an elevator. Ah. Oh. This one's an elevator. I don't think the other one's an elevator. 153. Alright, well, we'll just reset to get health back. What 
is above chandelier. Oh, so. Hi! Large talking pot. How we dance? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, just right back into it, huh? You bitch. Chandelier above? Yep. Aha! Hi. Okay, so I can open this door. But I can't get to the rest of this, it seems like. I have a reason to hit those pots. That's a new thing. Healing. Oh wait, no, I do have a reason. You found an old engagement ring. Now you just need to find someone who would want to marry you. Ow. Might as well. The hell? Like, you could read that in a very harsh way as like, who would want to marry you? But you'd also just be like, I just haven't found somebody yet. Who says I've even been looking? I'm a reaper, I'm a crow, man. The only remotely possibly female crow I've run into is one who likes a type. Am I not hitting some of these right now? I don't understand. Very clearly should have been. Alright. Like, how did that... Am I just not killing them in one hit? That's, I think, what's happening. Wow. a healing pot. I am going through these much faster than I would like. Alright, so we got this door. Oh, really? Okay. Alright. 
All right. Another level. Another point. Whatever. Music is very nice. It's very chill music. Like, I think even in a fight, the music is pretty chill seeming. A weird window. Okay. Hello. Oh, this was another... Okay. This was another soul. I guess this is the, the fourth one that's not behind a locked door. Why did the door close? How can we get back? Door at the top of the room. Your body didn't break. What is with the green goop? There's beakers and stuff. There's all these paintings of pot people. Oh goodness, you're not the cause of all this ruckus, are you? Oh god. <laughs> ah! I would not be very hospitable to any beast who would miss who would mistreat my children. That likely, Reaper. Considering I've hit you every time that I've shown up. Take a hint, lady. I'm here to kill you. Oh. Whee! Hi! I don't know why they run away from me when I swing my sword. Pothead. Pothied. How goes the exploration, my friend? This mansion is dark and full of strange creatures. Please, stay vigilant. I haven't made a new companion in a great many years, so I do hope we survive our first adventure together. As do I, friend. As do I. Oh, okay. I was like, a little, I was a little slow on reacting. Why did I not? There we go. Hmm. Well, I'm actually able to do this, and you know it's not necessary. Oh wait, does that just go around? I think it just goes around. Yo! Oh, I should've got- you know what? I'm right there. We're just gonna go get the level up. I don't know what happens when I die, but... I'm gonna get to light those. I wonder if like the ability I could get from here is like a fire thing. Somehow, some way. Increase the damage done with magic spells and ranged abilities. Okay. Yeah, I think for now we're just gonna keep in order. 600. 600 is what we need. again. <laughs> God damn it. Why? Why must I continually fail this way? I 
saw you down there. Break that pot. What did I need another key for? Like I haven't seen yet, I guess. I remember seeing another door. It has a key at least. Why this over here? That is why over there. Fight time. I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, I disagree. I disagree again. All right, we're dying. You said I would live forever, but with a pot for a head? No thanks. Then she killed them! Pothied. Yeah, I'm not gonna use another seed, I'm just gonna go right back there and heal. Well now, little crow. Doing that eye thing again. Only like now, you can't even see them. You have well and truly outstayed your welcome. First, you lead my daft grandson astray, filling that head of his with nonsense ideas about curses. Oh, Pothead, your friend. Pothead, your friend. Your, uh, your friend. Uh, grandson. Go ahead, Count. How's it going? Not sure when I missed your. <laughs> your message. Brown trigger across the Dark Souls? Eh, a little bit. And Zelda in there too. Build that head with his uh, ideas. And then you come in here and smash up all my beautiful urns! I'm just trying to help people. If you set foot in my basement, there will be consequences. I might even have words with your employer. Although I'd rather not see that old weirdo again. I mean, a lock for a head? So strange. Ah, my employer is the lockhead dude. That I've never seen. Off with you, little crow! Off with you. You only mildly scare me, old woman. 
Only mildly. Alright. We heal. Hello, flower friends. We go through the door. Match your grandma, I guess. All the voids are aglow with unearthly light. Is it unlocked? If only I had a cup a more complete understanding of doors. Before you proceed, big face, I have confession to make. The old witch of this house. She is my grandmother, okay? You cursed me with the ceramic cranium in a misguided effort to make me immortal. You see, she was stricken with grief when my grandfather passed and made it her mission to keep our whole family alive, forever. Her research led her to believe that replacing one's head with an urn would somehow strike you from death's ledgers. However, I resisted. And during the struggle, her spell must have gone awry, for as you can see, I have a pot for a head. I fear she has gone too far beyond her years, and her soul has swollen and grown corrupted. I have seen it happen in this land many times. As a reaper, I implore you to end her suffering and bring her soul into the next life. Perhaps she can find peace once again. What is this door? <laughs> Once again, I will wait here and stand guard. May the doors of death be on your side, Beakface. Because she said the basement. This is not taking me to the basement. Be wary, living reaper. Okay. What this? Um... Yo, is this how I get a new ability? Am I getting... Fire? That's a weird way for that to unlock. Okay. I didn't notice I didn't actually, like, go up to the chest. That's un... That's, that's uncool. Avarice? Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Ow. I almost attacked in every direction except the one I wanted. Oh god. Oh god! Okay. How big is this room? Oh, you're dead. All right, boys, there's something solid right here. Let's go, let's go. Or you just run into each other, that's fine too. Oh, I'm hurt way more than I'm comfortable with right now. Oh, this is so bad. Bad. Very bad. First death. Death! <laughs> Alright. The doors ask you, try again? Yes. Is this gonna drop me back in here again? Okay. I did lose souls of some amount, I think. Maybe it was just the souls that I got from being in here. I don't like the spinning top guys. I don't like when my attacks are just going past people. Kind of annoying.
I rolled into it. Fuck. Ah. All right. I'm just not swinging. with isometric games can't see when you're in the top of the screen okay I didn't lose any souls actually all right I part of me wants to change weapons I don't know if it'll make any difference like you. Okay, I didn't even see him winding up. my heavy attack just doesn't go. I hit it and just nothing happens. Probably because I'm just kind of mashing and I'm in the middle of another attack, but... Kingbird! Do you have... Like... Your eyes are weird. A gift to a fellow crow to aid you on your quest. Fire! Give me fire. Show me fire. A crown? <laughs> A little big. A little big. Flame spell. Yes. Switch to flame spell or switch back to arrows. Hame, hame, ha! Is he actually doing that? Yep. It's basically doing a comic. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Kind of. Close enough that I'll take it. Alright, why am I in the crow world? Uh, 
problem. Huh? Nope. How am I supposed to get back? That worked. This appears to be a, re a Reaper's abandoned logbook. We have been ordered to disconnect a series of open doors in the region around the recent anomalous energy surge. This area had previously been active with commission members assisting the witch with her research. The order came through and was executed immediately, so I'm not sure what has happened to the crows that were there. All doors have been sealed for now, and outstanding work orders in the region have been manually closed. Quite strange, but it's above my pay grade. I find it's better not to ask questions. Yeah, I, I get there was some sort of deal that was for some reason hashed out. Oh, hello. Oh, this actually just leads me back here. Okay. Baga. Ah, I see you've been exploring the old office departments. I used to work over in the east section before I embraced my true life and quit the rat race. Much happier now, but that was one lovely, cozy office. Hi, flower friend. So cute. So much color in this dark place. Hi, smoker man. Badger. Badger, badger. Seems you're finding a wealth of souls out there. Where are they coming from? I haven't seen so much soul energy in decades. Maybe centuries. Well, you know, you just go over there, you murder some things, it's fine. Alright, well, I can't get another upgrade. Back to the manor. With fire! And now we have fire to use. There are definitely places to use it. <gasps> no! His pothead led in there, because I'm pretty sure this is... not clean. I'm gonna have full health. For some reason, not at full health. Also, I still have a key. Okay, I know there was at least one thing. That I needed that for. Can't remember any others at the top of my head. Oh god. Isometric precision walking. Totally fine. Whoa! Leave me alone. I disagree. Out of here. Pick up, shiny. You found an old photograph. What a lovely couple. I wonder if they lived happily ever after. This is for the garden. Maybe. I haven't had a quest item from these. I do have an old engagement ring. Hold on. We never looked at this. This ring belonged to the urn witch. A gift from her late husband. It dates from a time long before you were even an egg. It seems she may have had to remove it because of her constantly swelling body. Such are the risks of living beyond your years. Old photograph. An old sun-damaged photo of a couple at their wedding. A treasured memory of better times. It looks like someone might have used it to draw on. Aha! Is this the Erin Witch? One, two, three, four, five. Got it. We'll get to that later. So do all of these have that, or is it just in this one instance that there's like a puzzle tied to it? I imagine it's going to be a rare thing. All right. I'm glad we did that. Whee! Anywhere else I needed to do something like that? I don't think so. I don't remember there being a lot in the way of obvious secrets, at least. And I feel like I've gone through every door and whatnot. Stupid 
magic wielding bastard made me waste health. All right, on out of here. Enough of this whispering. Oh, here's what I needed the key for. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Lots of pipes. Oh, game, are you okay? Furnace observation rooms. Okay. I'm gonna have to get out of here in a hurry. Why is there nothing here? Well, that's interesting. Where she conducted her research. Pick it up. All right. Well, that was unsettling. All right, cool. That's just a pit. All right, neat. Uh, it's very weird. There's no enemies down here. I'm guessing the conveyor belts would kill me. I'm gonna guess that. Not enough for a, another skill point. No? I don't like it. Can I shoot through this? No. Okay. All right. Got a big smile on his face. And many eyes. Okay. Goop monsters. Oh, I didn't even notice the, the pot droppings. That would be an indicator of this being the way to go. As long as it's not timed. Don't be timed, okay. Well, we got enough now. Ah! Uh, Pathy! Pathy! No! I can't get to you! Damn my short, stubby legs! Alright. 
I was really not expecting this much when I was going into the basement. Okay. Oh, there's a ledge there. <laughs> sure. I want that. Okay. Gotta walk on the pipes. I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, shit. I am dead. <laughs> What's happening? Wait, how did he get here? Oh, I guess. Those eyes, dude. I warned you, Crow. Yet still you persevere. I'm not sure if that's admirable or stupid. No, it's definitely stupid. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must have some alone time with this infuriating young lad here. Hopefully I can make him see sense. Now please, go away! No. What is shining over here? Hello? Oh. But I have to go back over here. Hold on. I don't think his container fit in that opening. <laughs> Gotta come back this way somehow, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Why is your vault opened by a furnace? Oh god. Inner furnace. Oh, okay. Oh, alright. Cool. Open. Let me out. Oh. Or is this gonna spit me? Okay. I'm healed! All right. 800. I wonder if you can get all the levels kind of just by playing through the game. You know, obviously just finding, because again, I think it's gonna come down to finding things and not grinding. All right, so we've got another furnace up there. They're probably gonna come back around to the left. Bobs. Probably don't like fire. Never mind. They're okay with it. Okay enough at least. Poison bazooka. Yeah, this is fine. Did that. You know what? Oh, come on, game. Wow, that's shitty, and you know it. 
Ow. That's shitty, and you know it. Why the f Why would that explode? It's the cannon! What? Cannons don't just explode! Oh, okay. That's- that's a thing they do. But I've never seen till now. You know what? Yeah, see ya. No. Again. Do this. Okay, there's that thing. This time it rolls away. I'll do it right here. It's fine. Job hit. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. I'm glad I'm stuck. Oh, this is bad. Ow. I really don't want to, but I guess they're giving me a seed right there. I don't want to have to redo things, uh, as much as I can. Yeah. I don't know what the attack strength of, like, the bow and magic is. Okay, yeah. I made that close for no reason. Hi! Man, I wish you guys didn't like fire. I miss something? Hold on. I'm not sure if I passed on something. Okay. Shortcut to come back to the door, I guess. Moment. All right, explodey head just peaced out. Okay. 
That <laughs> boatman just shot the exploding pot. I'm missing. Stamina is not really a thing. See now, you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just knocked over a pot. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Thank you. Bop. Naked. Oh, that was the thing running around before. Uh, okay. Although well, I went so long without any enemies, and now it's just nonstop. Oh, does Fireball go through? I've not been noticing necessarily. You gotta be here, dude. Yeah, I can't hit. Dude, what the? I don't like him. What even is this? Fucking muck? Like pipes? Why do you have pipes in your belly? Can I kill this? Yeah. You doing that? Yeah. 
shit. Something down here? Should be. Oh, come on. Not even like a fast way to get back or something. Might as well have made it just like steps that he had to go down. You don't make me walk this whole way for nothing. Nothing! Game. Through the door. Heal pot. Small touch, but very nice that the uh, mechanics or the mechanisms match with the music. Ow. Ow. <laughs> what is happening? Let me move. Die again. Okay. That doesn't do shit. <laughs> Close. Death from above is not the best option here. They are on top of each other. I can't see. I didn't need to kill him. Alright. Better make sure nothing happened when I killed them all. Gonna do this to save and whatever. I definitely don't have enough for another level up. All right, boss time. Like boss time to me. Family crest of giant soul, plant key and urn with a. Bull head. Hi. Yeah. Ubaba or whatever your name is. Grandma. <laughs> you little shit. Crows never do what they're told. I'm trying to save lives here. Don't you understand? Death cannot see those who have massed their life force within an urn. I can fool the Grim Reaper himself. Well, that's all the you know, pothead people I've killed. Or urn heads, excuse me. <laughs> you and I have something in common, little crow. The same employer. But goodness, we can't have them finding out about everything you've seen. 
Don't worry. I'll put your ashes in a lovely urn. The Witch of Urns. Grandma. Here we go. Good. Oh, then to win. Ow. Oh. I disagree. Well. That's actually hurting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Gotcha. Outside of that one time she smashed me with her urn. Did I get hit? I must have. Because I should have been at full health when I left and then came back. Give me your soul. What is that bird in the keyhole thing? Um, your soul is mine. <laughs> Stedhone, what are you doing here? We gather here today to mourn the passing of a woman known by many names. I guess he's the gravedigger, so he'll be here for every time I kill something. Or at least a big bad. I kill a lot of things. The Witch of Urns. Oh, it looks like he's crying. He's got like tears for his mask thing. The ceramic sorceress, earthen, earthenware enchantress, crockery crone. <laughs> and, of course, Grandma. Driven by her maternal instincts and consumed by her endeavors to outwit death, he filled life with a passion for magic, reanimation, potions, and pots. Urns. Her journey is concluded now, and she is now at peace. Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Your time in this world is over. Okay. Slightly depressing. I suppose I'll never be rid of this pot for a head. Still, I hope she finds peace beyond life. She can finally be reunited with Grandpot. Grandpa. Look for the tongue. I quite literally have pots on the brain. Seriously, though. Rip, Gran. I'm saying it's ripped because he could say rest in peace if it was actually rest in peace. She died as she lived with a pot on her head. Okay, kind of weird. I can't interact with it in any way, but okay. All right, I guess I'm leaving. See you. I'm out. Did I get souls for that? Like, use them? 
Oh shit. Hey, it's the train. Confessional? Oh no. I have 700 souls. Hello. Oh, am I gonna meet the key head? Key master? The big boss? The kuna? Whatever? Why is there a confessional here? <laughs> Seems slightly out of place. The Lord of Doors. World's best lord. Oh god. Four different areas, huh? Well, a crow. Hello there. Hello there. And how exactly did you get in here? Oh, what's the point in having command over all the doors in this world if my servants never remember to lock them? So, why are you here? I haven't actually met a crow in many, many years. So you still have those beaks? Nice. I sense a vast amount of soul energy about you, little crow. Strange. It feels oddly familiar to me. Oh. Is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward? No. You're very... colorful, shiny, weird. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> very good! job, little one. Bravo! What is coming? Oh, he's, he's sparks because he's got metal, so he's creating sparks. Is that what's happening? Now, be a good little bird and turn them into your vault. So there's no need to bring souls directly to me. I have more important matters to attend to. Ciao! Likely a big bad. Oh, he has a... He just has a view of that door. So he knows I've been there. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Cool. Ow! Fuck. What are you doing here? Did you find your sign me yet? Wait. You have a giant soul. But it's the wrong one! I can't process that. How did you manage that? Never mind. Get back out there and find your assigned soul. I don't think the plant thing I killed in the beginning was... I don't think I should be considered a giant soul. I still only have enough for one. Alright. Back speed up. So fast. Ah! <laughs> Granny's frickin' soul. Powerful witch driven by her maternal instincts, consumed by death, filled with passion, man, animation, but wow, it's the eulogy that. Uh. Grave hone, right? Whatever his name is, gave. I want my I want my lightsaber back. It's still pretty fast. All right, so let's, I guess let's check around here real quick because now we have fire. Is there anything I can do with the fire? All right, these are where more doors are gonna be. I know there's one wall that I can destroy at some point. Eventually, I've got to get. Something that can destroy those walls as an ability. This is again nothing. Hello. Paul Blart, head of security. Wow. Okay. That useless crow covered in trash kept throwing seeds at me, so I sent him on his way. He acts all carefree, but he sets my guard senses tingling. I'm sure he's up to no good somehow. Alright. Yeah, Paul. Oh, the lazy guy who didn't do shit when I came. He's like, you're fine. I don't know who's not fine. Was it Vada? Vaga? He's the one who he's talking about, I assume. All right, and just the... Eventually, there's going to be something to this phone booth. Like, at the very end, it's going to connect to something. It's got to happen. Oh, well, there's this noodle bar, but... That's such an annoying noise. But, uh, no one's there, and no one goes there. I didn't go down here before, did I? I did not. Uh, 
Was this not here before? Ah! Let's, let's, I guess hit both at the same time. Lore! This appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. My colleague failed to return from a routine mission. I tried heading through his door to check in on him, but it was sealed shut. Orders from upper management, apparently. And in a query to head office, but they insisted that this was normal procedure and the case was closed. Still no word from my colleague. I mentioned he was being assigned to assist a powerful witch with some research last time we had lunch. He said he was a bit worried before he started, but it turned out she was quite a nice old lady. I wonder if she had anything to do with the closure. I hope he's alright. Nope. He died and got sucked into a door. You found a scale model of an ancient reaper door. Cause sure. It doesn't function. It was probably made a long long ago as a mock-up for the law for the doors. Okay. All cool. More color as well. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it for me tonight. Um If it's about the same, I'm possibly going to beat, like, a boss a night at this pace, which is possible. You know, about, you know, 9 to 12 hours. It's not bad for a game like this. But I think what I'll do first thing, that's okay. I guess the next ability I'm going to get is breaking the wall, and then I can go in there the same way I just did with that fireplace area. Um, I think first thing I'm going to do is probably even just start at Lost Cemetery and just, like, go through. I know there was some spider webs there that I could do. Probably some lanterns. Uh, I don't know how to get to the last area, or the next area, I should say. Where... I already forgot what the enemies... Like, one's on a mountain. What was the other one? There was the witch, there was the one on the mountain, the beast, and then somebody the other way. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, so we'll start, like, from the beginning, make our way back up to the mansion, essentially, maybe figure out where the next area is we're supposed to go, uh, and we'll see what we can collect. I think that's, like, really the only way that I can go through this game and get as much as I can, it's just, like, just go all the way through. Which, maybe I should wait to do that until, like, I have all the abilities. It might not be a bad idea. I'll think about it. We'll figure it out. But anyway, we met the Lord of Doors as well. He said hello there, like... Like Ian McGregor. Anyway. That's gonna do it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll be back tomorrow with more of Death's Door.